The following segment is brought to you by TNZ Home Improvement, making home improvement easy. And is also brought to you by Rustic Works Furniture Company. Um, so now let's get into it. So we were doing this for the past few weeks, and today is going to be the finale of this project, which is a mosaic tree display shelf. A lot of ways to say. But as um, for those of you who missed it out, the first thing that we did, I took um, apply backing, you know, which, um, you can see, which you can't see behind here because I covered it over with uh, different cuts of scrap wood, which I actually had left over from a bunch of different projects. And this is um, a really good way to upcycle or to use um, material that you would not have gotten to use before. So um, all these different things, different colors, different shades, different sizes, you know, I have did some patchwork here and um, put it together on this ply backing. And um, that was the first part, after which I then, um, I went on some land that we have and I got this branch, uh, which was from a, fell, a fallen tree. So um, I, I, you know, I tried to as well be environmentally conscious and not cut down a fresh living tree for something like this. I found something that was already um, cut and already um, dead. So I used that and upcycle this again. I used some um, flat, some matte gray spray paint to um, get this the color you're seeing here. And um, then I attach that to the backing and then I put my first shelf on. Now today for the finale, we're gonna put a few more shelves on and we're gonna actually hold those shelves up and put on some accents with some uh, metal piping. So <clears throat> today what you would need is as follows. All right, so first things first, because we'll be working on piping, you'll need two pipe clamps because there are times you would need to join pipes together and um, the strength of your hands is not enough, so you need some pipe clamps. I have two. Um, it's best to use two just because you can act, have one act as your anchor and then have one as the active one, which um, would move the pipe and tighten it into the joints. All right, speaking about pipes, we have quite an assortment of pipes here today. So we have some lengths here. So these are different measurements and for a reason. So we have one that is eight inch, sorry, this one is 10, this one is eight inch. And then we have two that is 12. So I have actually have an extra one here in case I decide to do something else that's a little bit funky later on. If I wanted to upgrade this even a little bit more, maybe put some lighting, I'll think about it. But um, what you missed um, that I could not do in studio because it makes a lot of mess um, is actually putting the holes for the pipes to go through. So what I did here, these are the various shelves that are going to be added to the project. And what I did beforehand was I line them up on the piece itself so that I could see where it goes. Um, from there, I then average where I would want my pipes to run just for the aesthetic of it. The pipes also act as um, support for the piece and you'll see how it comes in handy in a little bit, all right? So once we, so what you had to do and what you missed was that placing the, the pieces up against the parts where you want it, all right? Um, here or wherever the case may be, and then you line up the piece underneath because it's very important that you get those holes lined up because um, if you don't, then the pipes wouldn't run through because the pipe, again, is a very rigid, solid thing. So you need to line up the pieces. All right, you line up the pieces. You take um, a spade bit with your drill. This is a spade bit. This is a one inch spade bit. So make sure you use that because you'll need that for the half inch thick pipes to, um, to go through, all right? Um, I did that, I repeated that process with the bottom piece as well. So I, I stack them on top of each other and then I drill straight through um, to ensure that all my holes are in one line. All right, so let's move forward now. So we are at the fun part. We don't need much drilling and stuff right now. We'll probably do that during the break and we'll come back and see the finished piece. But for now, what we're gonna do is some pipe joining. So the first thing you wanna do is grab, um, we have what is called a three inch nipple. And we're gonna put a collar on that. This collar is gonna act as the, basically the, the stopper in this first part here. So remember last week we did this and we drilled a hole in here last week, all right? And then to that stopper, you're gonna add this pipe cap, which is gonna screw right into the top of the collar over here. All right, so let's do this a little quickly, nicely. Here, because we have um, a stop on one end, we also need a stop on the other end. So we're gonna grab another collar and I'm gonna grab one of the lengths here right now. This is a 12 inch length. Now, you could change this however you want with whatever is comfortable for you. I'm using a 12 inch length just because I want that spacing for this first part of the shelf. So I'm gonna attach a collar underneath. 
And what this collar does, and once I get it tight and when I use my both pipe clamps, um, it's going to keep um, this thing firmly in place and won't move at all. But for now, I will now add the other piece here, which is the 12 inch length. Again, you can get these galvanized piping fittings um, at your local hardware store. You can get it at um, specialized plumbing places as well. And um, we're going to continue this right now. All right, so the next shelf, I have this one here. Again, this is a completely custom project. You can do it however you want. Notice I have two holes here, and that's for a reason you're going to see right now. So the first thing you want to do is put this through, thread it through the hole, all right? And then you want a collar as well. So I'm going to just reach over here. Sorry to turn my back on you, everybody. And what this collar does is stop the shelf from falling below the pipe level. All right, as I said, so that's one part there done. The next thing you need again is another length. I will use a 12 inch again. Actually, I'll use a 10 inch and I'll take my collar beforehand this time. And the next piece I'm gonna add is a little bit lower down. That's why I have a second hole over here because I'm gonna go a little bit off center. All right. Right. All right, so we go through here, we go through here again. One more collar needed to keep this one from going down. Um, I'll continue this during the break, guys, and um, later on we'll see the finished piece. So what you do, thread this through again, and you attach your collar. Again, the collars act as stoppers. Normally you don't see me um, doing hard work, so um, <laughs> Carrie has asked me to, to give him a hand. And I'm willing to, but he doesn't want me to touch anything. So I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> Kari, actually, what can I do for you? Actually, Rishi, you um, you have been a big help just just by being company. Oh, right? <laughs> that is a nice way of telling me, Rishi. We don't want you to do anything. <laughs> so where are we now? So now I'm actually gonna put a pipe stopper in in the bottom here, and then um, then we just need to during the break actually like afterward I'll actually. Go from behind and How? dot these in with the three inch. You, you know, I could have done that, right? Yeah, it's you not hard to just screw it in um in right there. All right, well what you could actually do for me is take this pipe clamp over here. Take this one and and clamp it over here. And while we don't finish today, Carrie, we will continue. Yeah, we'll continue week. and um it it'll be on the live feed as well. So definitely yeah. something to all right. Um, so everybody, thank you all for joining us today. <laughs> and we're going to continue working on this, but you can join us next week, Thursday, as we show you the finished product, uh, the shelf made by Carrie. We will see you all tomorrow. Um, we have a ticket giveaway to do, um, but we will do that tomorrow for you. So remember, if you commented on our Facebook page today, you would definitely have to join us tomorrow to see if you won that ticket. Um, tomorrow, remember, we may have a special show for you, so do stay with us. On behalf of Carrie, myself, and the entire Now team, enjoy your Thursday. Right. Yeah, just hold it. All right, great. Yeah, just just hold it in one place. Yeah, hold it in one place. Right. Well, and I can do stuff, carry. Yep, you could. You so you're, being, you're being a big you're being a big help here right now, Rishi. So well, as I said earlier, um, you use one to anchor, and I was going in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's what righty tighty lefty. Lefty Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's so okay. that's why you need two um two pipe clamps, one to anchor and one to actually. Turn. I don't know how Carrie would complete this project without me. I don't know, Rishi. <laughs> uh, a lot of things in life, my friend. <laughs> That's a real mean boy. <laughs>